welcome back to another video so the first thing i did this morning was make myself some iced coffee and then i got ready for the day so the first thing i'm doing is i'm putting on my dior primer i love this stuff you guys it's so good and then for foundation i'm using the ysl all hours foundation and i'm mixing it with the makeup by mario foundation i have been loving the combo of these two these are so good and they make my foundation look really really nice and then for brows i'm using the lancome eyebrow pencil love this stuff and then to fill my brows a little more i'm using this rare beauty uh, powder and then to carve out my eyebrows i'm using this born this way uh, concealer in the shade porcelain i love it and yeah this is what i use to carve out my eyebrows and then i'm also going to be mixing these two concealers because i'm very very tan so the dior concealer is very light so i need to mix the two to give me a nice color um, and I love my under eyes to be very bright, so I like lighter concealer, like very light concealer. But yeah, this is me just blending everything in. So for my cream contour, I've been using this Merit Bronze Balm in the color Sane. I love it. I do have a discount code in my description if you guys are interested. It's so creamy. I absolutely love the color of it. And it blends so nicely, you guys. I, I love it so much. It's like my favorite. I used to have the Makeup by Mario bronzing stick or contour stick. I forget what it's called. Like the creamy one. And I actually returned it because I like this one more. So yeah, that's just... And FYI, um, people have been asking me what this is, and yeah, it's amazing. I highly recommend it if you guys want to use a cream contour. And yeah, look how nicely it blends. It blends so well, and this Merit brush is amazing as well, so definitely recommend the two. And my favorite part, you guys know, I'm using the Huda Beauty powder in the color cupcake this is so nice for brightening your under eyes it has a pink undertone to it so it really really brightens and as you guys can see it looks very very bright so what i like to do is i like to bake so i usually will just like kind of leave the powder on while i'm doing the rest of my makeup and then brush it off afterwards you guys will see that in the video and the powder puff that i'm using for my face is um, from sephora and it's really really good So the next thing that I'm doing is I'm curling my lashes and I'm using this lash curler from Shiseido. Shiseido. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, this is amazing, you guys. I actually got influenced uh, by TikTok, so I got it because of TikTok and I don't have any regrets. It's so good. It's the best lash curler I've ever used. You guys will see that. And then I'm using my Lancome eyelash uh, primer before my mascara. So this stuff, I've been raving about this on my channel. I love it. It's so good. It actually like makes my eyelashes look darker like if that makes sense like i feel like the mascara looks like even more dark um which i really really like but yeah then i'm wiping off the powder and then after that i'm putting on my mascara so i'm using the dior mascara i use two different ones uh, i love both they're really really good so yeah this is the first one that i'm using i think it's the pump and volume one if i remember correctly but yeah it looks so good and it makes my lashes look so nice especially with the primer like i just feel like my lashes look so so good and the um, curler the eyelash curler that i showed you guys just the combo of all of these just makes my lashes look so good because i don't wear falsies um they irritate my eyes so i just wear mascara so yeah so then to bronze my face, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. I love this, you guys. I love the color of the bronzer. It just like blends in really seamlessly and it looks really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this all over my face. 
and then i'm going to be contouring my nose as well with it as i said i just feel like it blends really really nicely and i love the way that it makes my bronzer look so love that so i'm having a little coffee break <laughs> and i'm going back in with my huda beauty powder and just baking again just to make sure that everything looks perfect and i'm baking around my nose and um around my like jaw kind of and you'll see that but yeah i really like a light under eye uh, it's giving kim k back in the day and i'm here for it i will always love that look like the bright under eyes the very bronzy like forehead and all that like i just love 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 that look so yeah So yeah, I'm just fixing my hair because I woke up and didn't even touch it. So I'm like, let me just brush it and do something to it for the rest of the makeup. So yeah, I'm wiping away the excess powder now. And as you guys can see, the Huda Beauty powder just gives me such a nice like brightness under my eyes. It just sets everything in place and I love it. And then for my blush, I'm using the Dior uh, blush um, I think it's zero one pink I think that's what it's called it's that viral one that went viral all over TikTok I love it I think it's so pretty and it's not that pigmented but I like that because I don't like a very pigmented blush um, and then I'm highlighting my face so I'm using the film star bronze and glow palette from Charlotte Tilbury that I showed you guys earlier and just highlighting my cheeks and my nose as well and yeah i just love this palette so much and just wiping away the excess and just blending everything in and making sure that everything looks seamless and smooth oh yeah i forgot to mention i do use the real technique uh face brushes in case you guys are wondering and then i will curl my lashes one last time after the mascara has dried and i'm very careful with this part because you could pretty much rip out your lashes so be very very gentle very careful i don't press the curler like all the way down i kind of just like curl a little bit and it just makes such a difference and then the last thing that i do is i put on my um, lip products so i'm using the dior lip maximizer i think that's what it's called it's in the color beige you guys know i love this i've been using this for a while now and i love the way it makes my lips look and feel it's very hydrating then i'm going in with my dyson airstrip and you guys know how i feel about this i love this so much I feel like it's such a good tool for those that love straight hair and personally me i always wear my hair straight you guys know this so yeah it just makes straightening my hair so easy and i know that it's not as damaging as a traditional straightener and i love it so then after i got ready we went over to burger king for a dinner you guys know i am obsessed with burger king it's one of my favorite fast food places i actually think it's my favorite fast food i love going here the burgers are so good and every single time i go i get a oreo milkshake they are so good so yeah i got a whopper and jay and i cheered <laughs> and then this is the milkshake it's so good and then we headed over to home depot i was gonna say home sense no home depot i wanted to look for flowers for our porch but didn't end up finding anything and then i went home and i did some online shopping at sephora because guys i have an addiction when it comes to makeup now like i just want to like always buy new products it's so bad but anyways so i'll show you guys that in my next vlog because i did make a purchase and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye